Hey guys, Michael back here for just a garden update. You can see by the title, I'm going to be doing some picking. Before I do that, let me just show you around here. You saw on my Monday video, I come home on my lunch break and I fertilize my onions and my broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And uh, I just can't get over how good these things are looking. Um, they are just really doing well. I just got out here and I didn't film it, but... Um, I planted me a few more onions. I had some red Creole onions that I started up there. And I went ahead and set them in the ground. They're too small to really even get on video here. But um, I, I really don't know if, you know, I, I probably put them in the ground a little bit too early. But I went ahead and get them in the ground because we do have some cooler weather coming. And I just want to get them taken care of there. Um, I, um, I do have some frost cover that I ordered from Grower Solution that I will be putting out um, sometime this week coming up, uh, probably over the Thanksgiving holiday, I'll be getting ready to put that out. And uh, just seeing how that looks, and of course I'll film that and hope, or I hope to film that and show y'all how that's doing. But um, I don't know if you can see that. There's weeds down there, but these onions are looking great. Let me get down here, look at that. I'm really proud of my Texas legend onions. I um, really am. Um, but my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts are looking good. Let me go over here and show you my earth box. I feel like in just a few days, this thing has absolutely exploded. Um, it is doing amazing. I'm going to probably thin it out just a little bit and pick some baby lettuce maybe for my lunch tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and pick some of that and um but i'm just really really proud of how how it's doing here in this earth box i'm looking at maybe purchasing a few more for next spring but right here in this bed that i had pepper in one of my little raised beds i've got some calendula planted and i got a few that are about to bloom so um i'm not sure if you can see this one right here that one there is about to open up so I'm definitely going to be watching the temperature. I don't know how calendula does. It's supposed to be a cool season flower. I'm not sure how it does in the um, in the winter, in the you know cold with cold weather. So we do have some of that coming. Um, looking like we're going to be real close to 32 here at the end of the month. So at least that's what the extended forecast shows. But um, we've had a couple frosts, not many. Uh, we've had a few frosts. But then it gets back up, which is normal for us. Um, this is nothing untypical. We probably have not had as many frosts as what we usually have, but it's still about normal. Um, but I'm about to walk out here and show you these, um, my green beans, I just went blank on the name. But um, these things, they really did good despite all the challenges i did not take care of these things i really didn't um the deer got in here and got in them but i'm about to show you what i want to pull off of one plant then i'll show you i'm still picking one plant that's stunted from deer getting in it. All that <laughs> for one plant. Look at this. That is amazing. Now let me show you what these look like. They're really short. Like I said, the deer come in here and nipped them all off. That one, you can see how bad it looks right there. And uh, they all look bad. The deer just come through here and just mowed these down but I'm still gonna pick a whole bunch of beans. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna pick these and I'm gonna show you what I get. Now never in all my garden days have I seen something like this. I struggled on the name, but it's the momentum bush uh, green uh, momentum bush bean i think um anyway from hoss tools i'm gonna put a link down below this is from one 30 foot row this bucket is full it's like a two gallon bucket it's full 
I got another 30 foot row out there to go. Now that other 30 foot rows had a little bit more deer damage. I don't think it's gonna have quite as much as this, but these things are amazing. Um, I am completely shocked by this and I will definitely be doing this again, growing the momentum. Now I tried growing the momentum back in the summer and that, that row just, it was over there in that, that far side of the garden that was just not ready to be gardened yet. I mean, it was, the weeds took over. I couldn't, couldn't keep up with them. And, um, but I had tried some of the bigger ones. Let me see if I can find one. I mean, this is a pretty big green bean and it's a little bit tough, but it's not stringy. So I think they're gonna be fine when you cook them in a pot with some bacon. Momentum bush beans from Hall's Tools. You need to go check these out. Now, I planted some Blue Lake uh, runner beans and the deer just completely annihilated those. So I'm not gonna get anything off of those. But these Momentums, they, they were cut down. They were this tall. They were not even foot tall, some of them. And loaded down. I count them, sorry. I counted on there, down towards the end of my road there, they, um, the deer didn't, didn't touch a few of those plants down there. And I, I counted and I pulled 18 beans off of one plant. So you need to go try to grow, you need to go order you some momentum, uh, bush beans from Hoss Tools again. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna get up here and try to, I gotta find another bucket and uh, try to get these other, other green beans harvested before it rains on me again. So I will talk to y'all later. Catch you, catch you on the next one, bye.